again. We can live again. And indeed, we live again. As we do our business, we must remember that our continent is our own market. All countries in Africa have potential for domestic and tourism growth and intracontinental tourism from Africa's rapidly growing economics and growing middle class in the opportunity beginning to be explored right now. We need improved collaboration efforts between our, the countries that are here and the countries that have supported us right through. In this regard, we continue to build an events pipeline that continues to demonstrate that Africa is a premier destination for tourism, focusing on trade, investment, and tourism. Africa's travel in Daba is one such event. The pace of our recovery is dependent upon us addressing some of our challenges, both historic and new. While COVID-19 had placed on us a specific emphasis on safety, we know that barriers such as xenophobia, immigration re uh, regulations, as well as limited uh, direct airlift remain challenges. We commit to you that we're looking into this to make South Africa uh, the best destination you can think of. Since my appointment as Minister of Tourism, I've had several engagements with my fellow cabinet ministers in, relate, in related departments in a bid to partner and address these challenges that we've just outlined. And we together working towards our sector's recovery are going to make it possible. We've already seen positive developments around the rollout of the e-visa regime for most of our key source markets. I thought I'd have a cheer for the e-visa, none. <laughs> it took a lot of persuasion from this side to get that going. This is not only an, an important uh, step forward for South African tourism, but it is also uh, a much needed uh, entry point for South Africa's intra-trade activities. I'm committed to continue with these engagements in addressing the barriers that continue to plague our destination and hinder us from becoming an even more appealing destination for more tourists and realizing much needed growth. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm personally looking forward to a buzzing African travel in Daba today over the next three days as well. I look forward to walking the floor, meeting with some of you, of the tourist, with the tourism uh, products that you have brought to us across the continent and exhibiting them here, and of course engaging with some of the buyers. I would like to also thank members of the media, very rare of me to do that, but thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for covering us so, so beautifully. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much for covering us so positively. You are valued partners to us and you help us and you help us spread the good news and indeed keep us accountable on issues that pertain to our sector we remain committed to working with you in replacing the sometimes negative narrative that goes out there because negative narrative runs faster than good news so we're going to be working with you give you a bit of uh, sweetener and make sure that you can cover this and many more other tourism uh, and, 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 uh, um, uh, areas as positively as possible. I'd like to extend a word of appreciation to the greater South African tourism sector. Your passion for our country is undeniable. I saw this when we were in lockdown. People who were in the tourism industry came to me and say, Minister, how can we help you? We're here. And they on their own, from their own war rooms, to advise me. Thank you so much. And I seem so much wiser than I should have been because of you. Thank you. Thank you for your passion. I also want to thank the collaboration and partnership that we have with other ministers that have been here to uh, visit us. And I have no doubt that we are all going to win starting from now. And a special word of appreciation, too, to the enthusiasm enthusiastic Indaba project management team from, your, from our valued bid partners, our partner agencies and South African tourism staff members. You have once again delivered a fantastic trade show. I'd like while I go on thanking everybody to also appreciate that the portfolio committee chair is here with us. Thank you for taking time to be with us and we hope that you're going to support us as we ask for more money to go forward. 
You come to us at a time when we've just experienced the worst rain ravages in, the, in, in, in Guazulu Natal, where as you no doubt know have been told, we lost more than 430 people. Coming on the back of COVID-19, you can imagine what this has meant to many families that have lost loved ones, where each person is an irreplaceable treasure. We mourn with all those who lost their families and pray for their healing and ask you to just take one minute to stand up and recognize those 